How's everybody doing? It's Beano Black, and here we go, and we got it. Rigel coming up again, and basically that's exactly when it, as you can see, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back. Okay, this is just before it shows up, and actually it's showing up uh, a little, what was I figuring out? I'm figuring it's showing up a little early and a little high. Okay, because I got it set up for the ground conditions and everything that the idea of a, I got it at 42 meters and everything. Now it shows up and it's way out in space. I showed you it's 869 point or 868.9 light years away is Rigel. Okay, and it is Rigel. And then there it is right there. That's it right there. And then there's it'll pop back in and as you'll see it's dark because the sun is down low below the horizon right now that's it there that's Rigel this is not the moon okay and I'm just basically telling you straight up it, it actually a little high and a little early for what Stellarium's got it set to okay projected at so that is Rigel right there okay it's not the moon and factual actual now remember there's five hours different central standard time to GMT UTC time right now and as I step back on this we get Rigel back there and then it comes you know or makes it basically going backwards in time okay so when it first shows up and you know basically it's above the horizon line at, at and here's some fast play of it it's playing fast and then you'll see it come up but what I'm talking about on the horizon line that it actually comes up higher and earlier if you watch the time and basically uh, I wasn't watching the clock too much I just know when the Sun comes back up then you're gonna be seeing the 24 hours of the clock and time of everything going around there was the Sun and the super giants at 7 you know whatever Okay, and then we'll see and it's not the moon okay and I'll end up hitting it on and, hit, and show you the moon so we'll get back to it I'm waiting for it to get back to uh, Rigel coming up okay without oh, then we'll bring it and I'll step it ahead a little bit boom 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 come on there and then there it goes okay and it is Rigel so I just want you to watch your clock, okay? So from 21, 2110 to our 1930, because basically it first shows up, okay? Right there is where it first shows up at 1930, okay? Now what I was going to look at real fast too is see, yeah, it's. So 1930 it shows up okay so there you get all the footage pretty much and then we can come back and we'll try to zoom in on it right about there and then also like there so we go our five hours back on the clock remember this is central standard time but we go five hours back to match up to the time of the 1930 see my 1930 hours minus five hours is 1430 so this is all actual correct the location and everything is Antarctic east on the island and I'll even go to the south a little bit with the sky and you'll see that Cyrus is already up but see Cyrus is in the south okay we're looking east and then I try to bring it as much so I get a little bit of southeast but we actually we don't have a southeast in it because actually they're looking basically just around the corner is the north camera okay the one that they don't let us see too much of everything Okay, so that's what you had currently at the 1930. I'm going to hit play and make basically Mercury and the Sun. Let me show you Mercury and the Sun. The Sun was already, the Sun was low. See, the Sun's not up and ob above the horizon yet. Okay, the Sun is down there with Uranus, Mars. Okay, so we bring up the land, which you have to have. We got the ice and everything like that. So. And then I just basically keep us in a easterly, okay, because you got the north there and the south a little bit over there, but it's not Cyrus. And you'll see because basically we have Rigel's line right there, and that's what comes up, okay. 
and Mercury's already up there to the left already east at 1930 okay and then you got Mercury's orbit okay so but it's not Mercury not Mercury in the shot it is Rigel and I showed it was mostly the last recording and everything like that so I'll just hurry up and I'll hit play and I'll speed it up and as we get our shift here you're gonna see that basically Rigel's coming up a little early because I'll go to the right here and you're gonna see it coming up right here there is Rigel coming up so basically it's coming up actually a little early and a little high as you see it's like 1459 so you add the five hours and it's like 20 there 2007 then we go back to your time frame of watching and we'll go back to the video so then I can speed Rigel up a little bit and as you can see there's really nothing else let me pause it for a second there's really nothing else in the sky now all these are galaxies okay except for Zorik okay and then there's uh, that stuff there but none of this stuff and that's pretty much all the stuff that's basically uh, anything otherwise everything else is a galaxy pretty much okay in the sky and remember it's right that's what rises up and then that's our angle and on the coming up and then going out of the picture so basically you know it goes out of the to the east and you don't even see the sun you see the sun's going to be coming up and the it's going to the sun and actually ends up coming up in the north camera okay the sun ends up coming up in the north camera but you don't we don't really get the north camera because they're not letting us see the footage so this absolutely is Rigel and as you can see the moon's not there and actually if actually really fast I can bring I search for the moon or at least I wanted to but search for the moon then we hit search and then it'll find the moon and the moon's back see so the moon's in the west all the way in the west with Saturn and so forth so you got to move all the way around remember this camera shooting to the east okay shooting east north okay not even really north so moon the moon and the moon's not and see the moon even even factually if and we're not wrong the moon's already up not rising okay and as you've seen one of the comets that's known or asteroid whatever came flopping around there and we're sitting at the 1600 mark right now too so I got to fix the clock and everything like that but so you as you know the moon wasn't there I thought I was gonna have to get rid of the the land like this in order to find the moon I thought I was gonna have to do that to find the moon but I didn't have to it's back it's way behind so this is the correct time and everything like that so I get back to our 1930 so we're back at our five hour difference our 1430 is coming up here in a few seconds and just remember folks it's the only thing that's coming up and rising above the horizon line your horizon line right here in the east sky so it's the only thing coming up so it is it I mean we've already proved it absolutely the last video was the best one but I just wanted to give you guys another look at it what it what it's looking like uh, so when I speed this up what I want to do is I'm gonna hurry up and try to show you what it's gonna look like tomorrow so that the idea that you can see what time it's probably going to be coming up so we can match it up to what it's coming up tomorrow so see Rigel comes up so like I say though see it's actually a little bit it was early Rigel was actually a little bit early so there, there's a slight very, very slim possibility it could be another super giant that's not uh, so then we just look for okay see the moon would be it would have been up at around 16 or 631 the next, you know, it would have been really slow to be in the eastern sky, remember? Okay, so remember, we're always in the position of looking at the eastern sky. So here we go, basically, with tomorrow, and I'll fast forward it, the 31st, which is basically, it's the, it is the 31st now, and then that's about what time it should be showing up again tomorrow on the 31st, is a 1600 hour, okay? So now you can go ahead and watch it come up tomorrow I'll take it back we'll see exactly when it hits above the horizon so in tomorrow's webcam footage Rigel is right there you'll be able to see it come up at about 1441 but watch it because what I'm saying is it's gonna be faster and earlier like it was today okay because basically today it was a little bit early I mean and you know it's 31st UTC time right now 
So then I'll speed this up a little bit. So watch the time tomorrow and we'll see how early it comes up compared to that time that we figured that it's 1431 or something it should's coming up tomorrow. So because that's when Rigel will break the horizon tomorrow. Okay? So so remember 1454 is what it came up today. That's when Rigel came up today. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see well we we know that basically it came up about 10 minutes early. Okay? Because this will go through the 31st real fast. So it actually came up 10 minutes early. So tomorrow, they kept it going. You expect it to come up at about uh, the 19 uh, 30 hour again, pretty darn close to it. So because we figured it's going to be coming up at 1941, which is 1441. sun in front of it. Remember we're seeing it 10 minutes earlier. It's rising 10 minutes early it looks like. Even a little bit earlier than that. Because basically remember that this isn't the rise. Remember it was it was it 40 minutes earlier than this. Okay. So and then we'll give you another shot at 9.99. What I'm noticing is that there just as it was going out of the frame. So unique there. I do have pictures of it below. Uh, and here is its position out in space, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. This is the actual factual angle of the dangle of the sunlight. And basically, this is Mars, this is Venus. And since we're shoot shooting from over here at Lasco 2 and 3 and everything like that, that Factually, actually, Earth is over this way, okay, because we're shooting from the A, okay, so Earth is way over here somewhere and probably in the black somewhere, but this is the angle, so we're getting some top light from it, because that is the actual position of where Rigel's at out in space, in line with the sun, back, okay, that's Rigel, and it's shining on Earth over here. So we're getting light from this portion. We're getting light from the, like the top quarter. We're getting light from 9 to midnight on Rigel. As you can see, fresh footage. I got some great footage to show you. A sun and large planetoid object that's between us and our sun. This is our sun over here. Okay, this planetoid and this planetoid are actually the in-between wall of whatever we're gonna find out what star that is that's shining up there and they draw the curtain down to take a look at this that's a star up there just like the other star this is Saturn here and then this is there's a hyperbolic stars out there behind Saturn and, and this is CME reactive flare to something up by Saturn CME reacting to the Sun right there so it's some stuff to look at in the next video that I have okay pretty wild action here for the 28th okay and yes there's lots of stuff up here behind Saturn as you see this big flare right behind my cursor right there so pretty interesting stuff I'll pop up inside here real fast boom slide over a lot of big stuff up there by Saturn thanks to every branch in the military these are beautiful shots for getting so, as you see, that it's even this here has got a dark. That's a planet up there. There's something huge up by Saturn. Check the darkness of it. I mean, it's a CME reactive flare to whatever planet that is. 
And that's not.